beautiful, seductive modern lines disguise this beast of performance that converts up to 100% of wind into boat speed, yet is stable, spacious and can be towed by the family SUV. Sailing never looked or felt so good, and they call it the Corsair 880 Sport. The Corsair 880 Sport is like the aquatic love child of a Ferrari sports car and the 4x4 off-road camper van. Combining incredible performance with cruising livability capable of coastal journeys. French designer Francois Peru teamed up with Corsair Marine to totally reinvent the sailing hall of famer, the F27, of which a couple of thousand were built. Apart from the size though, very little is similar. The Corsair A80 has a powerful 13.5 metre high rig made from carbon as a rotating wing section, supported by lightweight synthetic Dyneema shrouds and Caligo blocks for smooth and easy tensioning or adjustments. With over 62.9 square metres of upwind sail area, including an overlapping genoa and square top mainsail made from black aramid material, a super lightweight sailcloth that is five times stronger than steel. You have also an asymmetrical spinnaker and a furling code zero that deploy from a 1.5 metre carbon bowsprit that's also removable. 28 foot long and 22 foot 3 wide, the boat is full of carbon fibre reinforcement from the beams to the bulkheads. It weighs just 1660 kilos. So you can power this highly optimised platform up with just the slightest of breezes. The rotating mast helps optimise the sail shape and creates even more power when you want it or less when you don't. All right, sailing this boat is absolutely exhilarating. It's nothing like getting on the tiller and hotting it up. You reduce some apparent wind and get the boat speed moving. Here we go. Woo! It's just finger touch steering. Brilliant. So the 880 has these reverse raked bows. Essentially what you're doing is bringing the buoyancy a lot further forward at the waterline. And that's giving you buoyancy where you need it. So as you're flying along under spinnaker or pressure on the leeward bow, it's reacting immediately with buoyancy. So that reserve buoyancy allows you to push the boat a lot harder and just makes it a lot safer. The extended waterline also helps with boat speed. This makes the boat incredibly safe to sail and a real departure from the earlier designs from the 1980s. Also, a departure is the hull shape, with much less rocker and a more buoyant square stern, allowing the hull to plane easier around 10 knots of boat speed and not get sucked back in the wash. I can already hear people saying, well, I don't need the fastest boat. It's not just about being the fastest boat, it's about being the most efficient boat, allowing terrific boat speeds in light to moderate conditions, as well as in the fresher breeze. So why is efficiency important? Well, it's like having an electric vehicle that you don't have to charge. It's capturing its own energy source from solar energy that has been converted into thermal winds. And it's converting this energy incredibly efficiency into boat speed, comparable to motorboats. Taking away the reliance on auxiliary motors. For the odd occasion that you do need a motor, this small 9.9 .9 horsepower Yamaha high thrust four stroke motor does the trick and is on electric tilt controlled from the cockpit with an articulating steering aid so you get both directional thrust and support from your rudder. Thanks to the centreboard and high aspect rudder reaching to a draft of 1.6 metres, you can also point as high as a monohull, but when raised, your draft disappears to just 45 centimetres, allowing you to sneak up into shallow waters and protected beaches. This enables you to get out of lumpery anchorages and up close to sheltered beaches. The wide nature of a trimaran gives you large, comfortable trampoline nets to hang out on. There's an optional boom tent too that can provide shade protection, along with a dodger and bimini for shade when sailing. There's also a surprising amount of room down below for a sports yacht that can do 20 knots or so. Incredible full standing room for giants like me of approximately 6 foot 4. This offers a comfortable saloon and dinette with fresh water, sink and stove, alcohol or LPG plus a small fridge and room for an additional fridge or esky in the cockpit. You have an aft cabin behind the carbon fibre swing ladder or another V-berth double forward, while there is a marine toilet and a full stand-up shower with hot water. Oh, and you can add air conditioning with a small generator. 
Then when the adventure is done, you can escape home fast or travel long distances by folding the boat up and transporting via double axle road trailer. At just over two tonne with the trailer, it's comfortably towed by SUV or four-wheel drive like this Mitsubishi Pajero Sport that has a 3.1 tow capacity. To stow on the trailer, we remove four bolts at each armour, then lift and fold the floats. The boat goes back onto the trailer easy with little effort and gets towed out. The mast is then lowered using a yoke boom and a halyard attached to your trailer winch that lowers the mast onto a dedicated cradle with wheels. We then roll forward and lash down and drive home. For more information on the incredible Corsair 880, click here. To see other videos about sailing trimarans, click here.